I quit. Hey, what's up my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Earthrise Titan class, Scorponok. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As you can see, it's a very large box for a very large bot, but some beautiful artwork going on here of Scorponok. Oh no, Prams in trouble, but lots of cool stuff happening here. Lots of blushing happening, people running. Oh no, Earthrise, more of a Cybertron trilogy. Now, one thing I noticed on this box art, there's betrayal happening. There is betrayal. If you look on this side of the box, you see that? That's Megatron's arm. And look at his beam. Boop, that's hitting Scorponok. What's going on there? What's up with that? Maybe he was aiming for Prime and missed. That's what it was. That's all it was. That's all. He, was just, he, was just, he just missed. That's all. He just missed. On the top, Warp Cybertron Trilogy, Decepticon symbol on the bottom. Not much, except warning. Don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. On this side of the box, we have the lovely Earthrise artwork. And on the back, we have our oh, obligatory product shots. He does this at the other things and stuff. And that's basically it for the packaging. And also included is a big piece of map here, and you do get the uh, little decoder. So right up here we have Unicron, and down here we have Space Bridge, we have the Ark, Nemesis, uh, Quintesson, and Fool's Fortune. So hooray for maps. And moving right along, here we have the Scorpion of the Knock. The Lock Knock Scorpion, if you will. Here is Scorpionock, our newest Titan. And uh, yeah, he's a big boy. As you can see, he is a very, very big boy, but very cool. And here he is in his Scorpion mode. And as you can see, uh, pretty much takes up the whole table width-wise. This table is almost three feet wide, and yeah, it takes up almost all of that. He's he's a big boy. He is a big, big boy, but let's try anyway to get in close here and take a look at those details. We have to move some things out of the way here. Let's take a look at that noggin. Um, I love that they put eyes on it. You can see the little red eyes on either side there. Just done in red. So I love that they actually tried to give this like a face which is not usually the case with Scorpinox, usually it's just the back of his head, and that's all you get. So I like that they actually tried to give us some kind of detail there. And of course, he got the big cannons. Of course, he has his big old ginormic claws going on here. There's lots of clawage, big old claws with some nice gunmetal gray going on there, as well as some orange. Got some big old cannons going on there. Just done in that dark gray, a little bit of orange. Hey, typical. Scorponok paint scheme, guys, little legs, and all that good stuff going on. And lots of detail going on. Get some more of that gumbo gray. Again, lots of detail. Mold it in. Move up so you can see what's up top here. Got some nice teal going on. And of course, what is a scorpion without its big old tail just curling above? That's pretty cool. There is the scorpion booty. There's where the uh, the shield stores right there. But all in all, very, very cool, very big uh, scorpion mode. And underneath him, he does have some, uh, some rolling wheels under here and right here. So he can roll as scorpion should. Hooray for giant rolling scorpions of death. So, Oh yeah, have that. And for comparison, uh, here he is with the uh, the print formers, Scorpionock. As you can see how that works out. Oh, he looks like just a little baby. He's a little baby boy. And here he is with G1 Scorpionock because he's precious. Oh, so precious. And here he is with another big boy. If we can make this work. Oh, with this fellow Decepticon base former. Ah, there he is <laughs> with Tripticon. Oh wait, ramp. And here he is with leader class Optimus Prime. So 
There you go. Now, as far as articulation goes, uh, the head can rotate into a full 360. You have that visual hash room. It's just the way Scorponaki is. Um, these bits can move up if you want to. They can't move down, but they can move up. Hey, you can do what you want there. Um, as far as the arms, they can rotate. They can move in and out. Uh, you have an elbow joint, but it only moves down. That's more for robot mode, but it's there if you want it. Um, the claws can move in and out. And of course the claws can open and close as well. And these two claws are individually articulated there. So they just can move in and out if you need. Um, the cannons, of course, can rotate if you want. There's a couple places you can put those, but we'll get into that later. Uh, the little scorpion legs, uh, the base of the legs are just one solid piece. So these two are just uh, one solid piece. And then the other part of the leg is individually articulated. So you have that going on. And the little toesies are on a hinge as well. Same thing with this. Again, the base is just one solid piece, but the other two can wiggle waggle on their own. And of course, the tail itself has a hinge here, a hinge here, and a hinge there. So you can kind of get that sitting a little closer, a little higher, kind of have that curved however you want. Now there are a couple places you can put uh, these cannons. You can have them on the shoulders if you want. There's also a port right here on the claw. You can plug that there if you want. Uh, that's This right here, that's a screw hole, but you know what? It'll fit there too. If you want to plug it there, you can plug it into these ports here. On the sides, if you wish, that could be a thing you can do. If you want to do it, you do also have ports right up here, which personally, this is where I like to put them. Because I think it just looks way better that way. But as always, your figure, just play it however you wish. You can plug those up there. And there's even a port right here on the top of the tail. So you can have that going on if you want to. So hey! All things you can do if you want to do it. So, there you have that. And Scorponok does come with an effects part. He does get a bloosh. He gets his own bloosh. This is the same as Siege Jetfire's bloosh. And there are a couple points here that you can plug these onto. Basically, any uh, any place that has like a five millimeter port, you can plug that into, get bloosh there get blooshed up there, whatever you want to do there. Blooshing, all kinds of blooshing to be had. A little bloosh points here on his biceps. Those biceps can get blooshed. A uh, little bloosh right here, a little bloosh point. So you can get blooshed right there if you want. Uh, blooshing points right up here also. So you can get blooshed right up there. You can also, of course, use the cannons to bloosh. And if you have Jetfire's effects parts, and you have more blooshing, so we can do this. Hey, we can do this too. And hey, we can even make the tail bloosh. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. And you know what we can do? We can do not a double, but a big old triple bloosh. So triple bloosh. Oh, more blooshing. More blooshing to be had. The more bloosh, the better. Now, this version of Scorponok is a double headmaster, just like Fort Max. His headmaster has a headmaster. So to extract the head, you want to bring it down and then pull it out. If you just pull it straight out, what will happen is you will pull out the collar piece with it, and you don't want to do that. So, yeah, the uh, locking point for his head is on a platform that actually tilts down. So... When you pull the head out, you want to just bring it forward and then pull it out. That way the collar piece won't come with it. But yeah, there is the headmaster for the headmaster. You can pull this little guy out and unfold him. And there he is. He's a little guy. It's your typical Prime Master, Titan Master, whatever you want to call him, Master. He's a master. He's the little master. And there are a couple spots here you can plug him. There are tiny little ports, like one right up here. You can just have him standing right there if you want. There are a couple points here on the legs as well. There's a little point here on the claw. You can have him standing. Just plug him in right there. So a couple points for him to stand. But you can also open up this section right here. Get him sitting down. And there is a little notch right here for him to sit 
like so. And you can just close that up and you can oops, close that up. You can have him just riding inside the scorpion if you want. And this will still attach even without that headmaster. So, hey, thing you can do if you want to do it. So that is basically it for the scorpion mode. I personally love it, but let's get down to a transformation, shall we? That's as far as we're gonna get, as far as the spin goes, but let's get him into his base mode. So we need to remove some stuff here. We need to remove the cannons, put those off to the side. Come here, we do need to remove the noggin as well and actually we need the uh we need the little guy too we need you we don't need you but yeah no it's better if you're with uh with your body here there we go we'll put that off to the side we need to come back here to his booty and we need to remove the shield and we put that off to the side as well and some more bits we need to pull off we need to pull off these little side sections here put those off to the side and pull this off and put that off to the side and there we go so now we can commence with the transformation so to get him into his base mode we basically want to start off by folding up his tail so just bring that back fold that in fold that in swing this under like so and then we just unclip his tail from the back of the legs just clip right on, just leave that laying there, take this ramp, just fold that down, and we leave that there for now. So now we need to come back here and unpeg these panels that will free up the legs. And one more thing we need to do is take these scorpion legs and just flatten these out like so, flatten these out like so down and there we have that so now we can finish up with the legs so you're just going to bring them up like that and bring it up like that and we got that going these little panels here you just want to flip up for now and what we are going to do here is going to bring the leg out and then rotate the leg at the thigh itself, or at the hip rather. Rotate it like that, and then take the leg at the thigh and rotate it up like so. So at this point now, we can just bring the thigh here, just bring it down like a click, and then just bring the rest of the leg down like so. And then we just take these panels here, just swing them around. And they will sit there like that. And then we just come here and we just pull out this little ramp, bring it down. There you go. Second of us is just like the first. So again, just bring the leg out. Rotate the hip. Bring it up at the thigh and just bring it down. Click and bring the leg the rest of the way down. Swing all this around so it sits like so, and then just flip out the ramp. And there we go. At this point now, we can take these panels and just clip those back into place like so. And then we take this ramp here, and you want to make sure that this entire assembly here is straight, and this will just plug in right up in there. Helps you raise them up a little bit. And just plugs in like so, and there you have the main ramp going on. So now we have that done, we can move on to the upper body. We just want to take the arms and just bring them up. Straighten out the arms, straighten out the claws. Just straighten everything out, get everything nice and straight. And then rotate the claws so the purple is facing forward like that. Same thing on the other side. Bring that up. Straighten everything out, close up the claws, rotate that around, whoops, hey, 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 there you go. <laughs> rotate the claws, like so, and you got that going on. So now we can bring in some of the other accoutrements. We want to take the cannons and bring in these pieces, and this will plug in 
to the barrels like so. And these will plug in to the claws right here. So these ports down here are gonna go into these, I mean these posts rather are gonna plug into these ports right here, the top ones. And then this will just plug in right up in there. And you got that. And of course, second vest is the same as the first. Get your cannon and the panel, plug them together. And then you just plug it in, plug it in, plug it in, plug it in. And there you have the towers going there. And then we just open up the chest panel, like so. And the shield, two posts, two ports, and just line it up. Like so, you can open that up, have that angled however you wish. And there you go. There you have Scorponok in his base mode. And it's not bad. I've seen better base modes, but it's it's not bad for what it is. It seems to be down like a click. There we go. Yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. Of course, you have the big central ramp going on right there. You got some more and some more of that tail. And you get some more mold details up in there. There's some more detail that gets revealed here. And of course you have the nice orange ramps. So no, not too shabby, not too shabby. Hey, you stay. You stay. You stay. Thank you. Thank you. But there you have that. Now as far as storage for uh for his head, um, you just open up this little compartment here and you just drop it down. There you go. Boop. That's where the head stores. <laughs> hey, it's storage if you want storage for it. And for a quick comparison, if we can make this work, here he is with uh, G1 Scorponok in his base mode. So, there you go. So now let's talk about Scorponok's noggin, the Scorponoggin, and you can transform this and to transform it, you're just going to pull this panel up and this whole assembly here will just come down and we can actually see his, uh, his eyes, ah, that's kind of creepy. But you just bring all of this down like so and we just turn this around. You want to bring this panel up so you can then bring his legs down. Your shoulders are going to just shift out and up, out and up, and then we can just close the chest down. And you got that going on. And then we just unpeg the form from the shoulder there, bring that down, flip out the fist. This little panel here just rotates down. Second of us, same as the first, just bring that down, bring down the fist, bring down this panel. Um, you can, if you want to, leave his horns there on the sides if you want, but officially you take these off and these will just tab in right here to the sides. And this is optional parts forming if you want to do it. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but since we're going to be ripping off this dude's head anyway, a why stop there? But you know, hey, different strokes for different folks, but there you go. And there you have Lord Zarek. And he looks quite cool. I like this, uh, this upgrade for him, this update. I do quite dig it. Let's get in close here. So we can take a look at the Noggin's Noggin. It's a nice silver there for the face, red for the eyes. You can see there's that G1 detailing there. He's got his abs going on. Got that purple, that gum metal gray, his big old feet. You can see this has the horns back there and all that good stuff. Articulation wise, the head can rotate, can wiggle waggle a little bit. Arms can rotate. Whoops. Pop things off <laughs> in and out. You can use that joint as well at the base. Have the shoulder sitting higher or lower if you want. Bicep rotation, double jointed elbow. Uh, nothing at the wrist, they just move inward due to transformation. Uh, he does have waist rotation. Legs can move forward that far, back, about that far. Outward, he can do the full splits. You can pop more things off. <laughs> the thigh rotation. 90 degrees of bend at the elbow, and the feet do have some ankle tiltage. Let's put these back on. How dare you? How dare you lose your horns? You don't lose your horns. How dare you? And also these little panels here, they have a little bit of outward movement, a little bit of wiggle room there. So, there you have that. And for comparison, uh, here he is with Surrey Broche with Fort Max's. 
Headmaster. So you can see how that works out. You see it's a little bit shorter. Here he is with Earthrise Prime. So you can see how that works out. And here he is with G1 Zarek. So you can see how nicely he'll stand. How nicely. He's been upgraded there. He got a major upgrade. But I do like how they replicated all the detail from the original onto this figure. Very nicely done. Even the crotch detail is transferred over. Weird, I know, but hey, it's there. Just pointing it out. Just pointing it out. And of course, he does have his own headmaster, which you can pop off. There you go. Little guy. There's a comparison there. So, hey, lots of little dudes. Lots of things you can do if you want to do them. And if you want, uh, there are some little posts right up here for the little dude's feet. You can just plug them right there. It's pretty cool. <laughs> but you know what? We'll just, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll give him his head back. There we go. As you can see how oh, he scales there with the old base mode. So there you have that. Uh, just because we'll bring him prime too again, just so you can see. Oh, he scales there with the base mode. Um, obviously, the guys that would work best with this are, you know, your battle masters, your micro masters. I think they're probably the best scale to go with these base formers. But hey, whatever you want to do. And they have a slide. Whee! I don't know. But there you have the base mode. So let's get down to transformation again, shall we? Yeah. So uh, first thing we need to do, obviously, is we need to remove some bits and pieces here, some odds and ends. So let's remove all of this, take this apart, that goes off to the side, remove this, put this off, put that off to the side, remove the shield, shield, there we go, put that off to the side. And now we can commence, so we can just close that up. We can just close up these Ramps now, just get that little bit out of the way. And we just unplug the central ramp here. Just leave that laying like so. So we just want to bring up these little panels. You're just gonna meet in the middle and that will stay like that. And now we can just straighten out his legs. Just rotate them in, rotate the thigh out. And we can just bring the leg down like so. All of this is just going to swing over. We need to bring down his foot first. There's his foot, and then we'll just swing around and plug in right there. And then we come under here and just flip out his toe like that. And we got a leg all done. Second vase is just like the first. So we'll just bring it up, rotate that in, rotate that out. Just swing all this around, make sure this is in the proper position. And bring down the foot, bring that around, take that in, come under here, flip out his toes, and then we have the lower body all done. So now we can uh, stand him up, and now we can move on to the upper body. He's standing there like, bring it! I don't have a head, but bring it! No, no. But we need to turn him around. So you have this little panel here. You just flip in and we're just going to fold the legs up. Make sure you bring up the little, uh, little toes there. And those will just work their way into this opening like that. I love how that works. I think that's really cool. So once we've done that, we just bring up this whole assembly here with the tail, this will just clip in right up here. So just give it a push. I'll clip in right up there. We're going to bring the rest of the tail up and there are tabs right here on the other side, which will go into slots that are right, right up in here. So just get that all lined up as best you can and just push that in. Get all nice and squozen. And there we go. And once we have done that, we just rotate him at the waist. So everything that is supposed to be facing forward is facing forward. And we can just 
bring his arms down, rotate things, get everything oriented properly, like so. And then we just need to rotate the neck piece here with the collar, so that's facing forward as well. And now we'll bring in all the extra accoutrement here. These we'll just plug into his shoulders. And plug it in, plug it in. These bits right here will plug into his side of his like ankles here. And they just peg on like so. And just take the other one. And again, you just lining up post and ports. And just getting that all nice and spozen. And we turn them around. And the shield. We'll just peg right back here for storage. So nice that everything has a place. And there we go. And the last thing he needs is a head. Here is the head. Plugs right in. Like so. And there you go. There you have Scorpionock in his robot mode. And he is big, he is beefy, he's pretty impressive. He's hefty too, he's got some weight to him as well. So yeah, all around, um, I dig this guy, I really dig him. So let's get in close here so we can take a look. That's that noggin of his, nice looking head sculpt in my opinion. Nice silver for the face, red for the visor, Here's big old orange horns. You got that orange and teal going on there in the chest, that really pops like a nice metallic color in there, Decepticon symbol. And some nice molded details you got going on throughout. Got big old claws. Nice detailing there on the legs. Some nice coloration going on. And here's big old feet. And it is a pretty clean transformation. I mean, he's got the tail folded up back there, but I love how the legs compress into the body. I think that's really cool. That's a nice way to handle those. So, oh no. Very nicely done, in my opinion. Now, articulation wise, the head can rotate, can do a full 360. You don't want to pop it off. Back some there. Uh, you can't look up, you can look down a little bit because there's a little platform there. So, you can, you know, get looking down a little bit. Arms can rotate. They can do a full 360. Can move in and out on some nice ratchets. Um, you have rotation right at the elbow. You have 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. And as I showed earlier in the uh, scorpion mode, claw itself can move in like so. And the claws themselves, you can see they can pivot in a little bit. Claws can open and close. You got those two fingers right there. And of course, well, cannons, you can angle those however you wish. Moving down the body. We've got waist rotation. It's a soft ratchet joint. You feel the thoops. It's a thooping ratchet. But it is there. Um, nothing as far as an ab crunch or anything. Legs! is big beefy legs. Oh, can move forward. That far. Can move back. That far. Outwards. Can you do the full splits? Yes, you can. And then some. You can have... Body rotation there. This joint, it's eh, not the best. It's it's a little weak. Could have been a bit tighter, but got that ratchet right there at the thigh. You do have a double jointed knee due to transformation, which is quite nice. And as far as the feet go, um, they can't move up, unfortunately. They can move down due to transformation, but you have to kind of undo all this if you want that to happen. Seems like that's more transformation joint than anything, but you do have a bit of ankle touches there, and the toes can move up if you need them to. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't have his gun, but you can give him his shield, which again is stored back here. So what we do here is we take this, and then we need to actually remove these little bits of his legs, let this fall. <laughs> that always happens. I always manage to drop one of them. It always happens. But anyway, what you do here is you take these and these will connect like so. And this will plug in to the shield like that. And you got that going on. And this 
we'll just plug in to his, where does this go? Oh, right here. So you got these two, these two posts right here, which will plug in right in here into these two ports in the claw. Then you have some other ports up here and pegs. And there you go. There he has his shield, which hey, again, it's a thing you can do. If you want to do it, do a little chompa chompa, chompa chompa, if you want to do it. I mean, granted, if you really need him to have a gun, you can always just pull one of these off and just kind of plug it there. I don't know. Hey, again, things you can do, whatever. Use your imagination. That's the whole point of these, isn't it? Of course it is. So, there you have that. And now for comparison, let's bring in the other Titans here. So here is Titan Class Devastator from Combiner Wars with Predator King. How does it scale with Metroplex? Here's how it scales with Metroplex. With Fortress Maximus with Omega Supreme and with Trypticon. Here he is with the Make Toys Scorponok, and uh, sorry I didn't do comparisons with him in the other modes, but I really did not want to transform that thing. But you know, hey. take what you can get. There he is with the Printformers Scorpionok. <laughs> He's sure little. Aww. And here he is with G1 Scorpionok because he's precious! Oh, so precious. And here he is with Earthrise Optimus. He's a little guy too. Look at him. Oh, so. There you go! So there you have Scorponok, and yeah, I can definitely say he is my favorite of all of the Titan class figures. I love this guy. I think he's really cool. He's just big, chunky, hefty. He just looks really good. Uh, the Scorpion mode, love the Scorpion mode. The base mode is okay. It's just okay. The robot mode, I think, looks great. Um, my only complaint, and it's really just a nitpick as far as I'm concerned, is, you know, I wish he had his gun. But other than that, I think they pulled this off really, really well. Another little complaint is I wish the uh, the ratchets, the outward ratchets for the hips were a bit stronger. Those were a little on the loose side, could have been a bit tighter, but all in all though, for the most part, I am very pleased with this figure. Me likes, me likes very much. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Earthrise figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Earthrise playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there's the Transformers Earthrise Titan Class Scorponok. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Home in your face. Hey. Hey there, Scorpionak. You all right there? You feeling okay, buddy? No, I don't know. I just, uh, just not in a very smashing mood today. You're not in a smashing mood today? Oh, that's all right. That's okay, buddy. Oh, by the way, I heard Prime say that you are a big weakling, and despite how strong you are, he could still beat you up with one hand tied behind his back. He... he said that? Yeah, he said that. So you wanna smash him? Yeah. You wanna smash Prime? Yeah, yeah, I wanna smash Prime. Okay, let's go smash Prime.